So a heat of the Princess Royal Challenge Cup. We have uh, Gillian Cooper from Upper Thames Rowing Club on the Berkshire Station and Annie Campbell Aldi on the Buckinghamshire Station from Nottingham Rowing Club. So both athletes off the start nice and quickly. We've got a home athlete from Upper Thames Gillian, so she'll have lots of support as we move up the course. So still neck and neck. And these are the race to love at Henley. Side by side. All the way up the track. Mm. And the uh, the prize with the winner of this race is actually going to be a race against uh, Diana Dimchenko, um, who's the selected scholar in the next round from the Ukraine. Um, she was uh, a bronze medalist in 2018 at European Championships in Glasgow last year. So um, a top-class uh, international scholar awaits the, the winner of this race. And Gillian, you know, from Upper Thames here, has pedigree herself. She's a bronze medalist in 2015 in the 23 championships in the women's eight. It's the second year in, at the regatta in the one times. She's had a homegrown athlete based on herself at Upper Thames. It does look like in the last 10 strokes or so, Gillian has stolen a bit of a lead. You can see there she's stretched that out to about a length now. The thing about the single is that you can have an impact so quickly and change speed. It is one of those unique boats where most of the others takes time to move. The single or double is one, and the pair of the one of those ones that you can really light up very quickly. Yeah, and I think we've just seen that from Annie Campbell Ward because that angle certainly showed that she's still well in contact, well in contention in this race. Look at that, looking very composed. She's obviously in a lot of pain, but still is maintaining her composure. It is such a lonely boat, you know, you're going through it on your own and there's no one around. He talks about the kind of boats going up and down the course beside you, that kind of wash. Yeah, particularly where there is a gap in the uh, in the booms, those wooden uh, wooden things on the side that uh, delineate the course. And there's a gap. You might experience a little bit more wash. And the, in these smaller boats, in the single, they can really affect yeah. you. And how you manage that impact can have a big impact on how you can continue to compete in the race just how it can unsettle you if you imagine if you're in a great rhythm you're kind of ticking along then all of a sudden you get a wash it upsets you you've got to pick up the, the pace again or the hull again and you're like whoa you know legs are tight tired feeling a little bit it can be really kind of draining to kind of get the whole speed back up again so as we come towards the enclosures this is still a very close race in the single Gillian Cooper has about a half length on the Berkshire station That gives you a good, good sense as just to how narrow those boats are, uh, and therefore how fragile the balance of those boats is. Um, it's a really very fine hull, and just the weight of them, 14 kilos, so it's it's not very heavy even the length of it. I mean, you see the different styles of each sculler as well. You know, different, different coaches, different systems. Not much in it between these two athletes. Gillian from Upper Thames and Annie from Nottingham Rowing Club. So it looks like Gillian has just moved down now. Maybe that's that experience being on 20 and 23 athlete winning medals, you know, coming to these final stages when you need to kind of start stepping and moving on. That experience really pays dividends here. On Henwater too, she'll have been training on this stretch um, while the course was going in. Um, and it looks like she's timed her final effort very well. Seems to have about a length advantage as you get to the last 10 strokes now from the progress board up to the finish. Nice 
to see more people have arrived. Stands. I can see win for Gillian Cooper in the heat of the Princess Royal Challenge Cup. So she'll progress on to tomorrow. And I home walk her again. Cracking race. Friday. Cracking race. Tough. Tough event. Tough event.